had knew that a show was coming up at the second gallery in St. Louis, and um, I knew that the paintings that I did here would be important to show at the exhibit in St. Louis, so I was working with that on my mind. Uh, Ted Torlentis took the studio artist to see this crane. It was, it was huge, it was the size of a house. Um, I believe it was a crane, all I know is kind of hard edge against the organic energy of the field. And from the field I felt, the bales of hay I felt had an energy. And um, of course what the crane, I guess, I'm not sure what it was going after, maybe it was oil, I don't know. But I like the comment that I was making was the organic fields bounced again against machinery which only would happen in 20th century landscape painting. They didn't have that um, in the 19th century. So I th thought that that kind of typified the machinery taking over the landscape and the bales of hay disappearing eventually from the landscape. So, um, what else to say about the image? It was used on the front of my show card at the time. That was 1986. And um, I still do a large part of my work is the, are the landscapes. And also just trees and the landscape. But, um, Paulette, were you, were you thinking about Monet's haystacks? Haystacks, I did. <laughs> how those are, tw you know, how the 20th century yeah. did for the haystacks. I just think about that. Thanks. Well, you know what's interesting is that there have been some social studies of those paintings that Monet actually was was afraid of kind of the, the modernizing of farming and the fact that his paintings were documenting maybe a, a, an older way of doing farming. So he was also, like you, documenting the maybe the impact of modern industry on farming regions and the passing of a traditional way of agriculture. So a very similar, not only visually some similarities, but some similar meanings. There's yeah. also in the show yeah. what um, I've done tractors in the landscape too, the tractors. Well, it so, was a crane up by Victoria? Uh, it was outside of Grimfield. Okay, that's, that's remembers the same. That outside. Yeah, I, I, I know, know, I know the same, I went to the same, it, the crane, it, it was from coal mining. Oh! Yeah, there was a coal mining, because I went to the same crane. There was only one crane like that. And it was notable because the, the company just used it, and then they just stopped just They stopped coal mining, and then, and then they just walked away. And the scoop on this on the crane was big enough you could drive a uh, school bus into the scoop. That's how big it was. It was huge. And it was amazing, because then, and you could, I climbed up to the top of it. Yeah. So when you're on the top of it and you're surrounded yeah. by cornfields, it was just, just amazing. Talk about an a, a, a aerial yeah. point of view because yeah. it was, yeah. 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 This makes me think of uh, work that Stacy over at Monmouth College had a few years ago. She drives back and forth between Galesburg and Monmouth every day. And there's something about it. She does corn stalks or bales or something. Corn. Yours is quite different. I noticed uh, Basha, uh, don't remember, I don't know her last name, Kroll. she has an, Kroll. Kroll. She, Kroll. she has an exhibit now up at Carl Sandburg, um, but she's done huge bales of hay in painting. And there's another work in the show that focuses on bales of hay. And I think painters, you know, are kind of interested in painting bales of hay. <laughs> Just because they look so interesting, they do look just full of energy on you know, the landscape. Part. I think a lot of people are interested in looking in, at in bales of hay. Yeah. This sounds yeah. crazy, but um, there's a term called anthropomorphic art, yeah. and uh, how you can just sort and hide a face in a painting. I don't know if you meant to do this, but if you stand where I am, there's a reclining face right there, <laughs> eye, eye, nose, and mouth. Huh. Uh, you don't see it when you're frontal, when you get over here. The other thing I just wanted to call up, picking up on what you were talking about, the 
WPA trio down yeah. there. How this piece here is different than this and these three. It's yeah. because of that neoclassical formal yeah. element of the triangle. Yeah. And thing. Yeah. The triangle. yeah. And you got the same thing yeah. here. Yeah. And here. Yeah. And even here. So I mean, yeah. these people that went on to be other than realists yeah. still started with that. Well, and, and fundamental. And Larry Watcher, you know, they they had that part that early academic yes. training, that yeah. academic training shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we we're missing that. Um, also, the energy applies to the brush strokes. You know, it gives uh, yes. sort of an abstract expression, this right. foreground, just yeah. the, yep. the right. energy right. of the paint and the those, organic. Those poles to the right. Oh, those oh. also are encroaching on the landscape. Um, I painted what was there and thought about it kind of later. Um, but yeah, those were there. So it's, like I said, another change in the landscape by man. It's, I think it's all what we're doing with the, the scale or form. All that are you still doing? Landscapes? Of yeah, mainly I'm working with color and um, images of trees and color. Um, so really I'm, I'm working with brighter color. This happens to be bright colors too, brighter. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do another Bales of Hay. Uh, I took some photographs at that one field as you're entering Galesburg with, it used to be Lieber Trials Veterinary Clinic and then there's a, a um, there used to be all these Bales of Hay and I took some photos in the winter and I've had them several years. I may get to them, you know, actually. Before we get away. Yeah. I would really, really great. like to thank you. Oh, we're welcome. These oh, things thank you. don't just yeah. happen. And a full time professor has little time for things like this. No, I thank you so much. Okay, you're yes. welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Coming and Larry, this was a nice break. I actually have to spend the rest of the week in grading, oh. so this is this this was a nice, really nice break. But no, I appreciate everybody coming. Really nice to see all of you. And and Tom and Paulette, thank you for talking about your work. You're welcome.